this video we will discuss about construction symbol and characteristics of enhancement mosfet there are two types of mosfets the depletion mosfet and the enhancement mosfet in both types p channel and n channel versions exist the mosfet derive its name from the fact that its metal get is insulated by a very thin oxide layer from the semiconductor channel so it is known as metal oxide semiconductor field defect transistor it is also known as the insulated get fat that is ig aft this figure shows the construction of an n channel enhancement mosfet it consists of a lightly doped p channel substrate into which two heavily doped n plus regions are diffused the doping is the process of adding impurities in the intrinsic semiconductor rather there is no standard measures for the doping to be lightly heavily or moderately so we generally say that if there are one impurity atom per 10 raised to power 7 atoms of intrinsic semiconductor material then it is called lightly doped material if there are one impurity atom per 10 raised to power 5 atom of intrinsic semiconductor material then it is called moderately doped material and if there are one impurity atom per 10 raised to power 3 atoms of intrinsic semiconductor material then it is called heavily doped material here it consists of a lightly doped p type substrate into which two heavily doped n plus regions are diffused these two n plus regions act as source s and drain d a thin layer of insulating silicon dioxide sio2 is made over the surface of the substrate it is this one then a metallic layer of aluminum is overlaid on the oxide layer like this this part of the aluminum layer acts as gate g and this part of the aluminum layer connect to this n plus region and the lead carried out with it is called source terminal similarly this n plus region is joined with this aluminum layer and a lead carried out from it is known as drain terminal these are symbols of n channel enhancement type mosfet this substrate terminal b is internally connected to the source so it is also symbolized like this in p channel enhancement type mosfet this arrow is outward direction so it is drawn like this in this symbol the vertical line representing channel is broken it is indicate that there is no continuous channel like depletion mosfet now look this figure it is the circuit diagram for the static characteristics of the n channel enhancement mosfet the internal structure of the mosfet during its operation is shown in this figure the enhancement mosfet differs from the depletion type mosfet is that no continuous channel exists between source and drain therefore when vg is equal to 0 no drain current flows this aluminum layer of the gate and on either side of the silicon dioxide layer this surface of the substrate acts as the parallel plates of a capacitor the insulating layer of silicon dioxide acts as the dielectric medium when vgs make positive that is positive voltage is applied to the gate g relative to source s this aluminum plate accumulate positive charges and hence negative charges 
accumulate in this region between drain and source. Thus, an N channel is created between drain and source, which allow the current to flow in source to drain circuit. The more positive the gate voltage, the greater the conduction from source to drain. For this reason, positive gate operation is called the enhancement mode FET. The IV characteristics curves for enhancement mode N-channel MOSFET is shown in this figure. For fixed positive VGS, the drain current first increases rapidly with VDS and then saturates. It increases for higher value of VGS. The minimum positive values of VGS at which the drain current is established is called the gate source threshold voltage VGST or VT. The region below this VGST curve is known as cutoff region. These are the points above which the drain current is constant. If we join all these points, then the region left to this line is known as ohmic region and the region right to this line is known as saturation region. It is to be noted that no channel current can flow if the gate is at zero or negative potential. Hence, the gate voltage is effective only in one direction. If we plot transfer characteristics, that is drain current ID versus gate to source voltage VGS at a constant drain to source voltage VDS, it is like this. The drain current ID is initially zero. The drain current ID flows only when VGS exceeds gate to source threshold voltage VT. Afterwards, with increase in VGS, ID increases slowly at first and then rapidly.